Okay, this is day seven, alpha 19, experimental 19.2. Um, everything that I've gotten here, I've gotten through either looting or buying through the, through the trader. I've made no cobble, I've made no concrete. Forged iron was mine though. Uh, picked up, or I made a forge on day one. Uh, skill points in game stage are as follows. So level 12, game stage 21. Um, we pulled off enough missions for the trader. I screwed up the first one because I forgot to get the uh, the um, satchel before leaving the building, but the rest of them I pulled off. So I pulled off 10 quests for the trader, so now we're level two quests. Um, skill points are as follows. In perception, we've got one in lucky looter. Uh, the only reason why I did that is to pick up more eggs and bird's nests. The second uh, in strength here, we got strength level three. So we put two into strength, two into pummel peat, Two into sex rex, uh, master chef one in order to make bacon and eggs, which is coming totally handy. We got tons of those in the uh, in the house. Uh, Miner 69 has got three. Mother load's got two. That's because we've been mining a fair bit of iron for forged iron. Um, nothing in brawler, although we do have shades. Um, we've got nothing in um, agility, and we've got two points in intellect. We've got one for better barter, just because I wanted to get more dukes. Uh, and one in advanced engineering, which I put on day one to be able to make a forge on day one, um, which I think if for this, if you're playing this, um, uh, if you're playing Alpha 19, I think having a forge on day one is important. Um, the level three baseball bat I've made on my own. I bought this burning shaft mod, but I found the fortifying grip mod. Um, the 44 Magnum I bought on day four from the trader. We found the barrel extender mod. Uh, the pistol I found in a toilet, believe it or not. Um, the magazine extender I bought from the trader. Uh, level 3 shotgun I, f I uh, bought from the trader for about 3400 uh, which is why I put the point into better barter just to lower the price of this. Uh, and I got a, found a rad remover. The pipe bombs and molotovs were rewards from the trader. 150 rounds for the magnum were rewards from the trader. I made all the arrows. I found all the rounds. Uh, this was found. This was made. I found this. I made this myself. This I got, five of these I got from rewards. I had to buy three off the trader because we were attacked on night two in our house, uh, which is not our house now, but we got attacked by a, uh, uh, a big boy, one of the uh, Hawaiian zombies who beat right into where I was. And uh, we, <laughs> it was a little tough fight. I had to actually run outside to get away from him, but he almost killed me. I was so shocked that he got in. Anyway, I got some honey on me tonight too, just in case. Uh, so I just hit up this small POI here. Um, all I've done for defenses was to take out the windows and put in cobble. Um, this part right here, I, I bought uh, 50 concrete from the trader. So I put, made this, these two concrete, this one's concrete, this one's concrete, and the block there is concrete. So the idea is the zombies are going to come in, not find a way to get to me. They're going to come up here, run up here, which I can see from back there. If I want to throw Molotovs or pipe bombs, I can do that while they're getting up here. They're going to run around, right? then they're either going to fall in here or get up here and then they're going to attack the bars. Now they're going to try and hit me through here but what I've done is I've had plates on both sides um, and then these uh, pillars across here and here. This is a plate. This is a just a regular block. These are all pillars. Pillar across there and then the uh, forged iron here. One level of forged iron at the bottom just to protect the concrete and then two levels of forged iron here. I didn't know if they would break through here at the bottom. If they break that block out in there that that's a problem for me but I don't think they will. Uh, I could have left it as the regular concrete that was there but I decided to upgrade it instead. But like I said all this was just found and dug up uh, for level seven or before day seven. And then my way in here I, think I can either nerd pull up or I can get up here. Now I don't think the zombies will be able to make this jump. It's a it's a three wide gap and you got to kind of sprint jump to do it. Um, the zombies are on sprint at night. So the only settings I've changed is that it's warrior difficulty. So it's two up from normal. Um, and then there's 16 zombies for the horde night. I, I was going to I normally play on 32, but uh, I left it at 16 just to show that this kind of base can be made by anyone. And even on a, you know, first horde night should be no problem. The difficulty is a little higher. There's more zombies, but with this only one square of them actually being able to try and get to me, I'm not worried. You now they may try to beat down under here, but we can come back over here. We have to worry about vultures, sure, but we can see down there. We can throw sh shiz down. Same thing here. 
we can just drop shiz down here if we have to and then I put a roof over top just in case there are vultures we can stay under here or step out and shoot them or whatever we're gonna do but I'm gonna try to run the whole night with just a bat um, the firearms are just in case I need them if things get really hairy at this door um, if you I try to stay away from blunderbuss if that's the only thing that you can find or buy then yeah go ahead and use it but the blunderbuss for me it just seems like a waste of time uh, it's great on the on the early days if you have one or find one to use because um, it'll keep things like dogs and stuff away from you but if you're not overloaded you can just run away from dogs um, so yeah and my equipment is as follows uh, I found <laughs> believe it or not I found a level 3 football helmet on day one helmet light mod I got as a reward from the trader uh, I found a double storage pocket mod shades I found not until like day five or something like that uh, bandana I made college jacket I I, I uh, got the book to make college jacket so I made that the reason why is it adds 10% run speed so if I need to run from something I can since we're in the green biome I don't need to be that um, uh, that warm or like protected from heat so the college jacket works great now I made four of these because I had enough resources to make four and the reason why I did that is the stats are slightly different so one of them was was 12 and 2 um, and then 13 and 1 and then I got a 14 and 1 so I kept this one um, BDU top I purchased from the trader I found this and I found this uh, I bought the no I found this in a, in a uh, storage container that's right and I found uh, this was what my actually my first quest reward the storage pocket mod uh, these I found obviously I've got pat uh, storage pockets on all three of my pieces of clothing and these I found so it's not like we have a ton of armor either um, armor rating is 27 so it takes out about one quarter of the damage explosion resistance 25 percent armor crit resistance 18 I have yet to get a, a uh, oops I have yet to get a uh, um, infection in this series uh, I've been hit several times but I've been okay the whole time which is lucky although I did found find honey on day one in a tree stump so I was like okay that's great um, normally when I'm playing um, I don't spend my skill points on day one until I get to the trader find out what the trader has um, but normally I like to my first four points are um, forge uh, master chef because I'm always picking up eggs and I'm always killing chickens and whatever I can find to get as much meat as possible for bacon and eggs uh, I find that's a little better than boiled meat because you're wasting water on boiled meat um, and then the other two skill points if I have the ability to do it uh, depending on how things go right but um, generally the other two skill points will be spent on pummel peat and sex rex um, I hold off on these until a little later but uh, I mine as much iron as I can get on day one I need you need 360 iron um, in order to make um, a level 2 baseball bat so if you put a point in the pummel peat you can make baseball bats three mining 360 iron is easy it's just four iron nodes it takes a little bit of time but it's well worth it to have a baseball bat on day two and if you mine a little extra iron you can make iron arrowheads um, and also you don't have to worry about a cooking pot because you can make your own first quest I take from the trader is always a, a uh, buried treasure buried supplies quest because it gets you food and clay the clay you need to make the forge and to put into the forge so that's always the best quest to take first I find um, and then of course you just need the duct tape and leather uh, and pipes pipes you can get easily enough from sinks and toilets um, the duct tape and the glue is a little harder it's really it's a balance that's why I like to just wait till I get to the trader if he's got duct tape and I, I have enough money I'll buy it save up my plastic always uh, so when I get to the trader I just sell all the plastic to him so I hit up tires and garbage along the way um, and then with the fetch quest you might get enough to even just buy the letter if you can uh, the best bet for leather is to just sort of sneaky loot a few houses try and find leather couches and get a uh, a chair chairs are great because they're six leather when you break them down so if you find if you find uh if you find two um like computer chairs you'll get uh enough leather okay well here we go let's see how this base holds up shouldn't be too tough should be a really relatively easy night here they come so I'm going to hold off on using anything but the bat. So with Sex Rex at 2 and the bat at level 2. Bat level 3 that is. This is going to be a relatively easy night. Now if you have a rob if you can get it whoop, a little too far. Whoop, that might be an issue. If you can get a robotic sledge. 
Can I hit you down there? I can't hit you, really. If you can get a robotic sledge early, I suggest to go ahead and do that. Yeah, we're going to need some firepower here. But this is where oops, this is where the blunderbuss would come in, you know, really handy. This is the first time I've actually oops, run a base like this where the it's a drop down. Normally it's not a drop down. I thought it would be enough for them to fall off, but it looks like uh, it's an issue. So this is really a firearms base. So if I was going to do this differently, I would build that up one level. What's up, buddy? Oh, they're hitting something over there. But this bat is a two-hit kill. Two-power hit kill, that is. Groin shot! Let's share the fire! So, I mean, what? no matter what firearm you have, it doesn't really matter whether you got a whether you found a pistol like I did or you're using a um come on fall down or you're using a blunderbuss. It doesn't really matter. Hey, what's up, girl? 44 was a beautiful find. Yeah, I definitely get rid of this drop down. I thought it was gonna be a a hand. Oh, I can still hit that guy. I guess it's just the short ladies that have a difficult have difficulty. Well, did you fall? Oh, you didn't fall off. Oh, kneecapped. What's up, buddy? Kneecapped. Hey, Mo. What's up, dude? Oh, I missed it. That's a really weird... Kneecap this guy. Get out of here. But, I mean, oh, they've already started to break through the first run. So, yeah, definitely having this as a... Uh, and if you've got two blender bus, all the better, right? But I mean, definitely having this up one would be better. That's ridiculous. I don't understand why that's... You can't see over that. Like, I should be able to... See over that. Well, like I said, it's the first time I run a base like this, so... Normally, I have it leveled on, but... The way this was set up, I didn't drop a block in there figuring it might help a little bit to have them all... Oh, see you, Mo. To have them all um, in one small area like that. Come on, fall off. Yeah, see, you can still kind of hit them, the tall ones anyway. Leg her. They're almost through that first set of bars. But this Horde Knight's not going to last much longer. Like I said, it's only day one. Why is that? That's so bizarre that it does that. Anyway, yeah, if you're going to do this, definitely don't have the... Uh, this Magnum does so much damage. It's the first time I've ever seen a Magnum on day one. In the store. So I couldn't, like, not buy it. My aim is terrible with it, though. So I like the shotguns early on. You just need to point. <laughs> That's all you gotta do is point at the enemy. Hey, stop hitting my shit. Oops. My button for the light is right beside my button for the, uh... Oh, they're still coming. For reload here. Yeah, they're not even through the first set of bars yet. Which I kind of don't expect them to get to through the first set of bars. They might. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I might be doing a little bit more, ow, damage than they are to the bars. So this bat will lay out all but the toughest of zombies in one, sh one swing. Like, Big Mama usually takes two, sometimes more to the head, before she goes down. Same as Mo, he'll take a couple shots to the head. Sorry, lady. What's up, Mo? Bring it in for some loving. Oh, I'm sorry, did I hit you in the groin? Come on, get up. 
I got some more people coming to the party. There you go. But the number of heads you can take off with this bat. Oops, how did I... Yeah, I might take that out too. I just did it so that they couldn't accidentally squeeze through the bars. Oh. Oops. There you go. Yeah, none of them have even come up this side. Like I said, you can probably do this without... Oh man, that was terrible. Without firearms. If they were all here, up one, up. Yeah, I'm doing so much damage to my own bars. You could probably get away with it. The other thing too is you could put in hatches. I just put in, um, if I had coffee that would help too, but I just put in bars because it was easy. Yeah, I'm doing more damage to my own shiz here than uh, they are. That's pretty much it, I think. Somebody's banging on something over here. Come on, lady. Oh, somebody's stuck in there. Have you decided to... What's going on? Oh, there's two of you. That's not good. You! Get off my walls. I spent a lot of money, but or uh, a lot of time and money on that uh, shiz from the trader. See what I mean, though, about laying these guys out. The baseball bat is so, so good for this. Especially early game. Like, I mean, if you get a steel club, great. But this thing is actually, like, it's rare, rare that I actually have to run from a zombie. And when I do, it's usually not very far. They just, like, I've got the zombies set to jog during the day because I find when you leave them on normal, it takes too long for them to get to you. <laughs> I just get tired of them not being able to get to me fast. So that was pretty simple. I mean, we didn't get much out of it. Some dog chow, vitamins. We've got a treasure map, which is good. I'll probably pull that off. Uh, a little bit of coin. But, you know, I think most of the damage here is probably from me. Yeah, that's, you know, these sides are for the, from them. So nothing, a little bit on this side, but not much. That's, I think, mostly from them. The inside one is, oh, it's barely even damaged. I think it's this block. Yeah, it's this block that's damaged the most. That's what I was hitting. So I would pull that out, I think. So I wasn't hitting that. It's difficult when you're swinging the bat. This took a little bit of damage, but, like, really. Yeah, pull this bottom one out and then make this, like, um maybe like a peaked roof or an angle block or something here that they'll slide off of when you hit them, they'll just fall to the ground. But they can still walk on it and then just hammer them. And then, you know, maybe this front one is is bars and the back one behind it is a, a trap door that you can put up and down so you can get just a little bit closer to them. And then maybe another trap door behind it in case they break through. But they should never break through. You should always have like your forged iron stuff on you because, you know, just take a second to repair it while you're fighting. Uh, but I think the double bars was a mistake on my part. Should have only been single bars. Christ, I could have made new bars for the amount I'm repairing this at. At uh, eight. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. But for day one, the resources spent on this is like really nothing. Like I said, it's everything that I found. Oh, he finally broke out. Come on, buddy. I'll wait here for you. So it's ten forged iron for repairs and a handful of cobble. Here he comes. Yeah, I don't have any concrete. And I hit this block a lot with a shotgun too, so that's me. I think I would reinforce that one before the one on the legs. Here he comes. See, this bat is like... It's one shot to the face and it knocks him down. Then he comes back, I'll hit him again in the head. Most likely he'll die. If not, it'll be one regular swing. But always power attack. It's like... It's just so brutal, and it's got a little bit more, I think it's got a little bit more reach than a club does, so you don't have to worry about it. But I've decided to make uh, my, the dump in long, oh, there's a bag down here I missed. Did I really miss this one? I did. I can't forget that cat food or dog food, whatever the hell it was. So my base is right next to the trader here. I just made the dump and long my base. So the trader's right there, and if you're playing on, on any map and you've got a trader like this, just keep in mind that these bars here, uh, great for keeping out zombies and bears, but dogs will go right through them. Wolves, zombie dogs. 
they'll get stuck on the barbed wire. So I put this hatch in, I've reinforced this, I've, I've upgraded the uh, ladders there, fixed, upgraded the wall in case they somehow get up here, but of course I've added a new floor because this breaks out, but then, you know, I'm just using this as my base. I've got the corners of this upgraded because it's just only a hundred, or sorry, a thousand iron uh, that this will, like that it supports. So I just upgraded it once at a cost of 40 iron each in order to protect, protect stuff from hitting it. I've just put uh, centered wood plates in the center here because I'm going to knock out these pillars here because you can't upgrade them. I'm going to put in uh, circular concrete posts to replace them uh, just to keep the iron safe because once they break through there, they're into here and I don't want them in here. So I'm going to upgrade all these walls. It goes to one more level of iron and then it goes concrete. So I'll worry about that later when I get more iron. Got two forges going. Uh, one is for lead and brass to make casings, which I haven't actually made any ammo yet and this one is just all for forged iron so uh, I've made a few casings but I haven't made any ammo uh, I've made some buckshot but like I said I haven't made any ammo everything I had I had I got from the trader or found on quests and then this is my food situation which on day seven is plenty I've got tons of bacon and eggs which I've been using um, most of the time I use it I don't take any food with me when I go out uh, when I go out I um, I'll make sure I'm topped up before I leave and then whatever I find when I'm out, I'll just eat and bring back whatever's left over. So I got I still have a bunch of legs and still a bunch of meat left. Um, I was lucky enough to have a couple dogs um, try and break in here. So I was able to just shoot them from up here with a bow. I got just enough to be able to kind of see uh, from both sides. I could knock another one of these out, but just enough to kind of see from both sides all the way in and just fire arrows down here if I have to. But then if you walk around, they're like, oh, he's over there. And then they'll come over to this area and then you can just shoot down on them. So my goal is to have all this, probably the first two rows here is bars um, all the way around. The outside will be this, regular, normal, whatever with concrete. All the posts are going to be updated to concrete. I'm going to make all the ground down here concrete. Um, and yeah, this, this should be pretty good. And eventually I can probably build a route off the back here, which I'm planning on doing a little platform out the back to do a melee base at the back here. Um, so most likely they'll attack me from uh, at this base here and yeah that's it so I hope you enjoyed it like I said day seven horde using pretty much everything I've well with the exception of the baseball bat which I made on my own um, and I bought this mod everything else is just found stuff or bought at the trader it's easy enough to do uh, even with a 16 zombie horde it was okay 32 would have been a little bit trickier I think would just would have just lasted a little longer um, and I probably would have had to use the shotgun a lot more Although we were almost out of ammo, but we had tons of pistol ammo and tons of magnum ammo, so it's not like they would have actually been able to get me. Uh, plus I had iron on me, so if I needed to make a hatch or something real quick, I could have done that and would have been no problem. Alright, so I'm going to end this, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.